It's 2019 and John Romero has just released a brand new fifth episode for Doom called Sigil. It almost doesn't even seem real. It's like something out of the Twilight Zone, but believe it or not, folks, it has happened. And now that I've beaten Sigil several times, what do I think about it? Well, it's pretty good. I can't say it's necessarily great. It definitely isn't one of the best wads I've played, but I do think it's pretty good overall. So, Sigil takes place in hell all throughout it, and because it takes place in hell, the level design is very strange and abstract compared to what Romero did in episode one. So if you're expecting, you know, these tech bases and knee deep in the dead style map design, you might be disappointed and you might be thrown for a loop because it is very different. What I'll also say right off the bat is that this episode is very, very challenging. It's definitely right up there with Die Flesh Consumed when it comes to difficulty. And it reminds me a lot of the difficulty in uh, Perfect Hatred in that it just throws tons of tough enemies at you and it doesn't really give you a whole lot of room to move around. And something else that I've noticed in this episode is that there are a lot of damaging floors. So not only are the environments cramped, but oftentimes if you mess up and fall off a ledge, you're gonna be in lava that takes your health down in no time at all. Ammo management is also very difficult. I found myself running low on ammo almost all throughout it, especially bullet ammo for the chain gun. I felt like I, I could never use it as much as I wanted to. Not so much shells, but definitely bullets. And I never really felt like I had a ton of rockets to use either. As far as detail goes, these levels are pretty plain looking by 2019 standards. In fact, I would say they're very plain looking and sometimes they can honestly even be downright ugly. I didn't really have a major problem with that, but it is something I noticed, and coming from Eve Eternity here recently, it really stuck out. I was, I was really surprised how under-detailed or undetailed these maps were in comparison. They don't all look bad though, and there are some spots that look very cool. I did have fun playing most of these levels, but I was also frustrated by a few of them, and one in particular that just really ticked me off was the end of E5M7. You end up going into this really small cramped structure that has caco demons, former sergeants, imps, and then there's a final doorway that's totally blocked by two barons of hell and it, that just frustrated me to death and I, I died I don't know how many times in there before I finally made it through and I feel like that was a real low point of this episode because up to that point, I didn't really feel like it was unfair or that the difficulty was cheap. I felt like it was pretty well balanced, but man, that section just went overboard and I'll be honest, I just hated that part. Otherwise though, I did think it was pretty fun to play through. This episode has all kinds of barons of hell, so you better get ready for those guys and a surprising number of cyber demons as well. But Thankfully, the cyber demons were all used in a very fair manner. I never felt like it was cheap or like I was just thrown into a tiny room with a cyber demon and had no way to get out. Most of the time, the cyber demons are placed in such a way that you can just outright avoid them. And oftentimes, you can even telefrag them if you're good enough. Something that I was a little disappointed by was the lack of new stuff. Now, it does have all new music, both MIDI and a Buckethead soundtrack. You can choose whichever one. And really, both of those soundtracks kick ass. I tried both of them all the way through, and I think they do a great job just setting the tone, and they give some of the levels this really creepy atmosphere, and I highly recommend checking them both out. They're definitely both worth playing to. But I really wish that there were some new textures maybe, maybe even like just one new weapon, some sort of a new monster, just something to sort of throw a wrench in the normal Doom gameplay. And there really wasn't anything like that in here. And I also felt like the original Doom's monster selection sort of limited the gameplay. I mean, there's, there's only so much you can do with Caco Demons and Barons of Hell. And it felt like I was just uh, fighting those guys over and over and over again. I, I sort of wanted some diversity and just never really got it aside from the cyber demons that I mentioned earlier. So overall, 
this is a fun episode and like I said it is very tough if you're looking for a challenge like thy flesh consume except minus thy flesh consumes sort of inverted difficulty where it gets easier near the end I think you're really gonna like this episode I do think it feels a little sloppy. It's certainly not John Romero's best work in my opinion. There were some sections that just felt strangely designed and it felt like they were maybe lacking polish, but I did appreciate the difficulty and I thought it was sort of a fitting successor to Thy Flesh Consumed in that it's very challenging and will push your skills to the limit. So overall, Sigil is a fun wad. Definitely not one of the best I've played, but it is fun. It's not a can't miss wad like Eve Eternity, but it's definitely a great treat for those of us who still like playing the original episodes and who admire John Romero's work. I'm really happy that he made this, and I hope that he makes more Doom levels in the future. I'd love to play some Doom 2 levels from him, for example, and just see what he could do with Doom 2's larger monster selection, larger texture selection, larger weapon selection. I think it'd be very interesting to see what kind of new stuff he could do with that game. And I think he was just a little too limited maybe with Doom's selection of stuff. So that's what I think about Sigil. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really appreciate everybody watching. And this is Chubbs signing out.